good morning and welcome to my channel Sharon here um, I'm filming this early in the morning it's the sun is up not fully up um, I've also got a different camera set up we've got a new arm a longer arm so I'm a bit higher up but I've got some different lights as well and I've tried the different ways with the lights and it does it's too bright with them on so I've gone for no lights apart from an overhead one overhead one and let's see how this goes so please bear with me while I practice what I'm doing anyway today I thought I'd have a go at one of Roxy's weekly challenge um, the number three I think making the envelopes and I've got some eight by four paper pads that I thought might be ideal for it so I was going to have a go at one of these um, I got these in oh Teddy this German shop over here um, thought I would use that one and I thought I would use I don't know something plainish or decorated some of the uh, patterns are a bit odd but there you go um, I think I'm gonna go for that one go really bright <laughs> so to start off with uh, we're folding up in the middle there And then round this way and folding just over the edge. As long as it's level there. These come out fairly long. They're a good size, I think, anyway. Uh, that way up. Am I straight? Oh, yeah, I am. Oh, that was a miracle. Put that on there. Yeah. so you fold it up if you've seen her and you take these bits out here wrong way what am I doing this is also what 200 GSM card so it is quite thick card to make these from but it's again within keeping using what I've got and also using up these paper pads how many of these paper pads do we have lots right and that goes over there and that comes up there and then I'll fold this down and take these off here And then fold that in half, well not fold it in half, but hold it. If you can. <laughs> so it goes down. over there that up there and that down there now you could either leave them straight or you can I just sometimes just gently round them off like that so that's one the other thing I've got is a roll of this paper from Ikea and when my grandson lived here um, he used to be over to us quite a lot and um, so we've had quite a few toys but unfortunately he's not been over in the last 18 months and um, so I've got this paper left 
and I thought it's such a shame to throw it away so I decided I would start using it and I thought this might be ideal for pockets uh, envelopes well and pockets actually and also pages in a um, journal I'd have to flatten them out because they are very rounded now a page is normally eight inches so I want to go a bit further up And a bit down, don't I? So let's go about there. As you can see, this is all very rough at the moment. So again, I will fold in. This is the straight edge, so I'll follow that because what I'll do is I will trim after I've done this and then fold it in to about there should be all right there there and there to hold this down i'm gonna have to put something there and we do the same thing here difficult with curly paper there I folded that too far up because the other thing you need to do as well is just take a fraction off here if you haven't watched Roxy Rachel's video Roxy Creations get pop along and have a look and then take a bit off That up. I'll stick that out. Right, okay. Right, I've now got to stick them down, but first I want to do some um, stenciling on here. So I'm using vintage photo, so I haven't got that stark white look to the, when you open the envelope. <clears throat> Sorry. There. So just a quick bit like that. And then you fold these in and glue these um, sides down. First of all, put in a piece along, uh, glue along here like this so as i say i hope you are all well we're waiting on um friend coming around to do the plasterboard as i say and also we're waiting on um we've got the pool people coming around to give us a quote um we can't have an in-ground pool because we're out in the country you're not allowed permission so we are having a overground one above ground over ground <laughs> sounds like a train doesn't it um so yes we're doing we've got them coming today at 11 hence why i'm filming early <clears throat> and in different light <clears throat> sorry there and you glue that up there and then i put this down here to make sure i haven't glued the whole thing together <laughs> like that right I've done the other two as well this one ended up being slightly bigger and then there's this one here as well which is quite large um, now I'm going to one of the other things I'm going to do is also ink around this one all around the sides here okay so I've done all that 
Um, I think I need a new dauber. Right, so now I want to decorate. These don't need too much. But I do have some labels. And some circles. <laughs> so what have I got here? Oh, I quite like that. Yep, I like that. And I've got some large butterflies, but I've got these as well. These are from the Digital Collage Club. All sorts of different... Um, no, too big. Too pale, too pale, too long, too big, but too long. I think that one. I quite like that one. Yep, I definitely think that one. First, though, I want to put some paper. Go that side. Oh, 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 I like that. But maybe not quite. Oh, I don't know. Though. This is the Florentine paper I've got. Maybe come down a little bit. Mm. down here like that I'll keep that <laughs> and then that can go along there take a bit off the top here and I haven't got that white edge as we keep talking about could go there and that actually I might just take this bit off as well I'm not over keen on it going that far over there and that there does it need anything else I'm not sure about that and that can go on there And then this, um, I'll tell you what I have got, is some plain labels that might help. Here, ooh. Ooh, I like that. Or do I go for a totally different colour, something like that? No, actually, I like that. That's uh, there. I like that. No. There. And what else have I got? Hmm. There's that one. Um, oh, maybe that one because that's not as whoops, wrong place. <laughs> yeah, maybe that one. Um, and then I've also got, um, got some scraps in here. Oh, I'll tell you what I have got is some of this. Put a little piece there, couldn't I? Bring it up a bit. Like that. I like that. 
that there that keeping that one quite plain but then this is quite but then that's busy oh would that look better on there oh oh dear you see now i'm thinking maybe that would look better on there that's a bit fussy on there isn't it um what else have i got these blends in too much that stands out a bit Got loads of funny little bits here oh to plant the garden oh haha <laughs> how about that i like that maybe that is all that needs is that there put that in the corner maybe there that can go on there and that can go on there i think for the moment anyway um i need to probably take this down so i do want to trim that let's halve that and then take that down that side as well yeah i like that okay well these this one's simple isn't it just need to stick that on put that okay i'm having terrible trouble getting the glue out of this little one doesn't seem to want to come out look how squidgy i am and i've got loads in there feels like there's a blockage but i've put pins and everything down it maybe it's an air blockage put that that side i think that's all that one needs is that i'll get the bigger glue for this one <clears throat> See, now this one's coming out lovely now <laughs> if it's not one it's the other isn't it okay do you think this needs something else what do you think or a bigger one bigger ones seem to be plain or do I go for a totally different colour hmm. no it's too big isn't it I think that's something like this now I've lost the little one I'm sure I can find it to get another one yeah here that oh dear i don't know i'm gonna have to think about that down there that gets lost there gets and that's already that side that's not sticking interesting i think that might be just too big i think that there like this one i'm going to just go over the top of the embossing thought of another idea as well I could put on this one is a stamp I have the um, Sam Paul stamps here that I used the other day oh, that's if the videos come out or not <laughs> and I've got 1904 and I think I'm going to use this. This is taking a lot of gluing, by the way, onto these paper cart pads. I think I'm going to put that just there. Oh, yes, I'm pleased about that. 
definitely. Yep, I like that one. Now this one. I think that's all it needs. I'll tell you what else I could do though. Um, I will just ink a bit round the edges. The question is, do you ink or don't you ink? I've tried not inking. I've not inked on this, which is unusual for me. Um, but some people just don't like inking, do they? They don't like it. I remember a comment on a Facebook group that somebody said once, a while ago now, why, um, why do people ink around the edges? It looks like it's just a dob of ink. <laughs> she couldn't see the point in it. One of the other things I think I will do is get that stencil again. I'm being very lazy and not taking it off the ring. <laughs> and I'm just going to stencil in these gaps, I think. Oh yes, and maybe just... Maybe I should have taken it off the ring. <laughs> Maybe that bit there. Yeah. And then the same down here. There. Oh yes, that finishes it off. So I need to go and make some tags for these. So I'll be back shortly. And then I also found um, this paper here. It was very similar to that, as you can see there. Whoops, there. And I made this tag for in here. So I've used all my card paper up. And this one, I ended up using the scrap um, of this that I had left over um, from another project. So for to go in there, which funny enough, as I say, is matching. Um, and then you've got that one. I think these papers are quite beautiful. I mean, some are a bit. Look at that. I love that. That, I'm not too sure, maybe a Halloween one. But that's gorgeous. I nearly made an envelope out of that, then realised the bird was going to be on the back. I'm thinking a pocket in something. But as you can see, there's some lovely pieces in there. And also, I backed... Where are they there? I backed all of them in the um, off scraps of this paper that I've got. <laughs> So that's quite handy. I'll start using my um, off scraps for that. So that's my three envelopes I've made. You different methods and using up your paper pads. I was going to have a go with six by six and thought they're not going to be long enough. So I'm quite pleased with all of them. I've kept it very simple. I use that label in the end on that tag. And I found another. I think these are Mrs. Cogs. Oh no, Artie May's Summer. And that was an off cut from here. I just put down the side because these, I don't know, they just, they're okay as they are. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed that. Definitely an array of colours there. Please hit that like button and thank you very much for subscribing. Speak to you all again soon. Bye.